Hi everybody. We're going to be using a big ball today. So uh, the first thing to do is to look around and make sure that you're in a safe place. Whereas if you accidentally roll over to the side, you're not going to bang your head or do something stupid like I would do. Fall off, who knows, start laughing. I don't know. I also like to be at a place where I can hold on to something, a couch, a chair, um, a, a stool, something. Because you know those moments of panic do happen. So <clears throat> don't do anything if it hurts. We can move right along. There's no uh, need for no pain, no gain. So the first thing I want to do is I want you to have your feet far apart. Have the ball so it has a little give to it, so you're not feeling so unstable. You want a little bit of give. And let's just start by moving back and forth. Straightening the knees and bending the knees. For this, I like to see how my knees track over my feet. Can I make the knees track? And then when I push back and straighten the knees, I'm going to lower my head a little bit and see if I can stretch out that area below the waist, mm -hmm, that lower back. So I straighten the knees, press with my feet, and then I want to lift my, lift my toes up a little bit, feeling adventurous. Feel safe. Feel safe. If you have to hold on to do this, Go ahead. Next, let's move the feet in and make the heels touch the ball. This way, I really feel stable. I feel that I'm not going to fall, but this is still handy, so I'm safe with that. What I want you to do here is just get used to the movement of the ball. Let's just press the knees forward a little bit. Yeah, that's good. And now I'm going to punch and punch. I'm punching across my body. Feel that rotation of your spine. Feel the muscles that pull against the vertebrae. And I also like that stretch across my back. And one more. Now, let's move the feet out a little bit more. And I want you to hold on to the side of the ball or hold on to something else, be safe. And I want you to lean to one side, lean to the other. Let your head go as low as you feel comfortable. Don't get dizzy, don't go fast. Now let's add an arm over an ear. Hold on if you need to. Hold on to something, like I can hold on here and do it this way. And Sharon knows I'm talking about the serratus. I hope everybody else does. <laughs> Last one. There's a lot of things you can do with the ball. You can do a little bounce like this. You can hold on. Get a little bit of cardio going. Good for the joints. You can add hand weights. Move up and down. Whoa, big movements, <laughs> feel safe. And it's the upper body, but feel that lower back work slow down and now I'm going to make a circle. I can hold on while I do this. I'm not. And I'm going to change directions because I like that rotation. I like to continue leaning from one side to the other. And that everybody, the ball is really an innovative thing to use. I hope you have one, and um, there are much more advanced things you can do. 
But thank you very much.